and gentlemen, boys and girls, introducing the man that literally nobody has been waiting for. Wait, what are you doing? Huh? Um, just doing an intro. Um, hi, my name's Rick, and welcome to our channel, Forky Meats. I want to start off this adventure by doing a quick recipe. Um, our, my fan is a huge, my fan, my family are huge fans of this. And before I tell you anything more, we need to get the recipe going. So to do that, obviously I need to quench my thirst, um, which definitely just water. <sighs> Lovely, refreshing water. And um, let's get going. Right, so I've got um, a pot of water going because this is my version of aglio e olio which translates to garlic and oil spaghetti aglio e olio um, to make my version you need a really good quality olive oil and that's just not my version it's every version you need really really good quality oil it can be I use rapeseed oil sometimes which is fine um, but just don't use any sort of blended stuff you don't need extra virgin olive oil it's way too much um, that's just you know not good for this it'll burn um, you need a whole bulb of garlic, um, which you need to slice as thin as possible. Um, you've got parsley, coriander, parmesan, lemon, obviously spaghettis, and we've got our water going. I've got fresh chilies, I've got dry red chilies, I'm using both, um, and a super twist, cumin seeds. Now I know people are going to be like, what, cumin seeds, oh my god, but I've looked through a lot of recipes and everything is um, they're all different they're all different so this is my variation um, so let's go so this so the thermal frying pan on um, get that going bring it up to heat um, I have got here 250 grams of linguine um, the reason I like linguine is uh, ouch. we'll come back to it the reason why I love linguine so pasta, straight in, and we'll let that cook for 10 minutes. Um, I'm looking at my clock now. So we've got 10 minutes, my pan is warming up. I'm gonna chuck in olive oil, and please don't be scared with the olive oil, just look at how much I'm putting in. There is a lot of olive oil. I'll probably say about three tablespoons of olive oil uh, to start with. And then what I've done here is I've got the stalks of the coriander the stalks of the coriander and the finely sliced garlic um, and I'm going to put it straight into the no I'm not missed the, the big part cumin seeds, I'm going to put about a teaspoon of cumin seeds in um, in they go and they will start spluttering spluttering in just a moment um, pan cam, you can see it go in there um, once that's done I'm going to turn the heat all the way down all the way down and then I'm going to chuck in my garlic and coriander seeds there you go pan cam we'll try that again won't we um, what I want to do is just watch and make sure that this garlic does not turn any colour apart from you don't want it to be brown at all now the spaghetti the timer is on Please, please, please don't snap the spaghetti, okay? Um, people are going to think, oh, Prick, why is, why, why are you telling us this? So, okay, we're going to resist with pan cam for a moment. Why are you telling us this? Why? They snap spaghetti. You know who you are. You know who you are. Stop it. So, anyway, back to the spaghetti. Um, remember the water is really really salty about the ocean um, and we're going to go ahead with this um, and then move on um, we've already done that so you can move on to the next slide thank you we've also already done that so you can move on to the next slide um, what I want to say is if you feel like the garlic is turning colour just chuck a bit of cold water in um, to cool down the temperature of the pan um, and you should be good to go um, but always, always, I know it's an easy recipe, a simple thing, but just keep an eye on it. You do not want it to go brown. You don't want it to taste of burnt garlic at all. 
Um, so what I understand is this recipe was actually written in 1837 and has its origins in the Naples region. Um, they use different types of pasta. I mean, so, like I said before, so many um, recipes for this. Um, they use different types of pasta. I like using linguine um, as a second option. I will use spaghetti, um, but nothing bigger than sort of linguine spaghetti. Tagliatelle is way too big. Papadelli definitely not. Um, now, what what is what is believed is that people have created this dish from another dish um, called linguine with clams, and this was made by the poorer citizens. Um, I believe that. You can also put anchovies in there if you if you want to. Um, again, that's entirely up to you. Um, I'm using an inspiration for this version, which comes from the film Chef, starring John Favreau. Um, the way he makes spaghetti in this film with such sorry spaghetti in this film with such finesse, even though it's not a complicated recipe. He showed the importance of treating the ingredients with care um, and love and um, just showed how simple food can be. Um, I mean, did you or did you not see Scarlett Johansson's face when she ate that pasta? That just said it all really, didn't it? So there we are. Um, so quickly, I just want to introduce our channel quickly. Um, I'm aiming to learn more about food, um, I'd like to say in general. Um, but I want to invite you guys on this adventure with me. Um, we'll dig into the spice trade and how that changed the way we eat. Um, visit and speak to local producers and see what's on our doorsteps and maybe your doorsteps for all we know. Um, and best of all, we'll cook, eat and have some laughs along the way. Um, let's call it the anthropology of food. Um, that's what I'm trying to achieve with this. Um, I would love, love to get to know your stories, your versions of recipes, maybe I'm doing something different, maybe I'm doing it totally wrong and I need to change it up. Um, I'm putting a bit of cold water in because my pan is getting a bit too hot um, and I can see, can you see here, that they've gone slightly coloured, that one there, as opposed to all the others. So yeah, um, we shall drop it in there. Um, so guys, if you get to the end of this video and you enjoy it, please, please like the video, comment down below, share, and most important, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you're notified when we put up a new video, um, so you'll be able to see everything. We're back 10 minutes in, the spaghetti is cooking. Um, it's done very well. This spaghetti is actually 10 to 12 minutes on the packet, so I'm going to cook it to 10 minutes and then give it another minute in here, not the full amount because I still want a bit of al dente. Um, the garlic has cooked very, very well. Pan can, pan can back. Um, look at that. If I, um, if I was to just quickly do that and just squish it, you can see that it is very, very soft and it's not going to sort of be harsh. On the palette. Now I am going to chuck in the chilies. These are the fresh chilies that I cut. Um, again, finely sliced. I've chucked them in now, um, and I'm going to follow that with a little bit of salt, and um, that can go in. Um, and that is our 10 minute marker. So at 10 minutes, what you want to do is you want to grab the spaghetti and just chuck it straight into your pan. It's okay. You bring the water with you. That's fine. Remember, you haven't really salted anything apart from just now, and that was a tiny amount just for the chilies. Um, so the water that you're putting in into your pan now, that will be salty, so that will provide that saltiness that you, you need um, in the pasta. So, chili flakes. Again, as many or as little as you want, I'm just going to use a nice pinch. Um, I know this is hot. The green chilies were not hot at all. But this is hot, so I'm only going to put a tiny amount in. Um, followed by the juice of a lemon. Pan can is gone again. We'll get there, we will get there. And finally, the herbs, the coriander and the parsley. 
Now one thing I want to say about parsley is please don't use the stalks because I don't know, it's just not the greatest. Um, I think it just doesn't taste very nice at all. So I normally take off all the leaves from the stalks. Coriander, however, is the total opposite. I love coriander um, the stalks, hence why I put them in right at the beginning because they're more robust, um, if you will, um, in being able to sort of exchange flavours with oil. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, I mean, We've mixed all of these ingredients together, um, it's looking good. Uh, I'm going to show you pan cam, look, there's pan cam, look at that. Looking pretty good. So, all we're going to do now is finish it off. Now, I want to show you a trick. I, I'm going to call it a trick, I don't know how many people know it, but when you serve pasta, sometimes it just flops, doesn't it? It sits, it just sits and doesn't really do anything. If you get a carving fork and a big spoon um, what we'll do is we'll go under the spaghetti and then we just twist it imagine you're eating spaghetti um, at the table you know with a fork and a spoon like that. and then we'll pop it in and we'll twist it and look at the height not much but okay twist 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 flakes on top and finish with dated parmesan and there you have it spaghetti aglio e olio spaghetti with garlic and olive oil and I will say it's delicious I'll see you later oh wait don't forget like comment share subscribe I would love to hear your comments I want to know what I'm doing wrong what I'm doing right or how I can improve just let me know and if there's any recipe hold on Sorry, I just can't wait. And if there's any recipes you want me to figure out, and if there's any recipes you'd like me to do, let me know. You can find us on Instagram as well, so follow us there. Recipe number one complete. Bye bye.